हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ आलोक सेम वॉल एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री हिमाचल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी पॉन्टा साहिब टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटेक्टर्स यूज्ड इन अल्ट्रावायलेट विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोफोटोमीटर आई विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस फ्यू अप्लीकेशन ऑफ अल्ट्रावायलेट विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी सो लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ऑफ अल्ट्रावायलेट विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोफोटोमीटर इंक्लूड डिटेक्टर्स डिटेक्टर्स आर यूज टू डिटेक्ट द रेडिएशन ऑप्टेंट फ्रॉम द सैंपल इन अल्ट्रावायलेट विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोफोटोमीटर देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डिटेक्टर्स यूज फर्स्ट इज फोटो मल्टीप्लायर डिटेक्टर सेकेंड वन इज बैरियर लेयर सेल थर्ड वन इज फोटो वोल्टिक सेल and the next one is charged couple devices now i am going to discuss the construction and working of photo multiplier detector photo multiplier detector is the most widely used detector in ultraviolet visible spectrophotometers as the name suggests photo multiplier detector works on the fundamental of multiplication of photoelectrons the principle employed in this detector is multiplication of photoelectrons by secondary emission of electrons this multiplication of photoelectrons results in increase in the signal strength now in these pictures you can see the construction of photo multiplier detector it consists of a vacuum tube a primary photo emissive cathode eight to 10 dynodes and collector electrode primary photo emissive cathode is photosensitive different dynodes are positively charged these dynodes are charged with increasing potential of 75 to 100 volt higher than preceding one now la last one is the collector electrode which collects the electron when the radiation coming from the sample strikes the first photo emissive cathode it results in generation of electrons these electrons are attracted by the dynodes which are fixed each with increasing potential so the electron strikes the first dynode which causes multiplication of electrons then these are attracted by the different dynodes which causes further multiplication at last these multiplied electrons are collected by the collected electrode and the signal produced by these electrons is the fingerprint of analysis of the sample under investigation photo multiplier are extremely sensitive to light and is best suited when weaker or low radiation is received because of the multiplication process they increases the signal strength now next main detector used in ultraviolet visible spectrophotometers is barrel layer cell barrel layer cell is also known as photovoltaic cell this is the picture of barrel layer cell in this picture you can see it consists of a semiconductor 
selenium this yellow portion denotes the selenium semiconductor selenium is deposited on a strong metal base such as iron this red portion denotes the iron metal base now a very thin layer of silver and gold is sputtered over the surface of semiconductor this is the thin layer of silver it acts as an second collector electrode now when the radiation coming from the sample falls upon this thin layer of silver or gold it generates electrons electrons are attracted towards the iron surface because it is maintained at positive potential but the selenium semiconductor stops the transport of electrons towards the iron surface this causes accumulation of electrons on thin layer of silver it produces the voltage difference between silver surface and base of the cell photocurrent is flow which is directly proportional to the intensity of incident radiation beam barrier layer cells are also very sensitive in nature next is applications of ultraviolet visible spectroscopy ultraviolet visible spectroscopy is used for qualitative as well as quantitative analysis in qualitative analysis we can characterize the aromatic and conjugated olefins in quantitative analysis we can determine the molar concentration of solute under study qualitative analysis is based on the detection of conjugation where quantitative analysis is based on the determination of molar concentration of solute under study now we can determine the molar concentration of solute under study by various methods first method is calibration curve method second method is beer's lambert law third method is extrapolation method i will discuss details of these methods in upcoming classes this is the example of characterization of aromatic and conjugated olefins by ultraviolet spectroscopy here you can see the structure of paracetamol this is the ultraviolet spectrum of paracetamol this spectra is a standard spectra ultraviolet spectrum contains two parameters absorbance and wavelength the unit of wavelength is nanometer and it is denoted by lambda in this picture you can see a high intensity peak at 243.57 nanometer this peak is for paracetamol so we can say 243.57 nanometer is a unique range for this paracetamol so if you have to detect paracetamol in any of the sample you will obtain the spectra of the test sample by ultraviolet spectroscopy and then you have to check whether there is any peak at 243.57 nanometer other applications of ultraviolet visual spectroscopy includes determination of impurities 
detection of isomers. Thank you.